Hello everybody, it's Nick here. I'm making this video blog. There's a couple important things I want to talk about. Um, the first thing, I originally made this at the doctor's office yesterday. I took my stepfather to to an appointment and uh, I was going to make the video there, but there were people around, so it's like, no, I better not. I don't want to see people see me screaming to a camera. I can't do it in public sometimes. Anyways, so there was this kid, or I can't say that, he's... 22 years old, but, um, this, his name was, uh, Matthew Schwade, I think, um, I don't know how you pronounce that, S, S, C, H, W, E, D, Schwed or Schwade, or however you say it, anyways, he's a disabled guy, and, um, he said, you know, they, they have this woman that's supposed to take care of him, right, well, according to this woman, um, which, uh, Anyways, her name is Robin N. Johnson. According to her, taking care of this guy means, you know, beating him up, strapping him to a chair and shit. What the fuck is wrong with this country? But that's not even the worst part. The worst part is, is that, get this, the prosecutors didn't think that the photos that were brought to court were real. And then after the fact, they're like, oh, well, I guess they are real. Talk about too little, too fucking late. So, you prosecutors, I hope you can't fucking sleep at night. You just let this woman get away with fucking, you know, I bet this woman could fucking kill the guy and she'd get away with it. It's so fucking stupid that our world, that this country at least, managed to let all the fucking criminals get away with shit, okay? I'm tired of it. I'm tired of the fucking criminals getting away with shit. And the worst part is because since I have autism, this really fucking gets to me. That another, you know, someone relatable to me is, you know, is having this shit happen to him. And then no justice is, you know, and I don't want to hear any fucking justice is blind shit. You know, if that's the case, justice needs to get some fucking glasses. Because, you know, justice is what was one important thing that this country is supposed to be about. You know, so... That just fucking infuri infuriates me. This, um, but yeah, the prosecutors that let the fucker, the fucking woman that beat him up get away with this, I hope he can't fucking sleep at night, okay? And, you know, it's, it, it, I, I heard on the radio, they're like, well, you know, we, we don't fire people for making mistakes. And it's like, well, you probably better start because this is letting this kid but get beat up by this woman is ridiculous. Um, and I don't know why people would lie about this, so I don't know why they thought the photos were fake. I see a photo right here, and the kid doesn't look like, you know, it doesn't look Photoshopped to me. I mean, I know people can do amazing things with Photoshop, but it looks pretty damn legit to me. But, and it's not just, you know, mentally challenged people. There's been fucking, like, old people where the caretaker's fucking hitting them and shit. It's like, if you can't do the job right, don't fucking do it at all. If you're gonna fucking do the complete opposite of what you're supposed to, don't fucking do it. I've seen some shit. Like, I've seen, you know, videos of parents fucking throwing, literally throwing their kids across the room just because they're pissed off at them. You know... And I'm going to say, my dad used to kind of, you know, beat me around when I was a kid, but, um, it was never this bad, you know? I mean, he, he'd be a little excessive, but not this bad. He wouldn't fucking tie me to a fucking chair and start fucking punching me in the face. Um, a real feel for this kid, though, Matthew, if, I, I don't think he's watching, but if you do, if you are around, I'm so sorry that the perpetrator of the crime got away with it. This is as bad as Jeffrey Leonard getting away, you know, getting away with pedophilia in Australia. But I thought I thought the USA was a better country than this. But clearly I was mistaken because, you know, crime doesn't pay, apparently. So, to the prosecutors, again, hope you guys can't sleep at night. I don't wish harm upon anyone. You know, I'm a Christian. I, I don't do that. But this isn't harm. I'm just, you know, I'm hoping that you guys get your just desserts. You know, maybe if your kids get beaten up by a caretaker or something, maybe the perpetrator of those crimes gets to get away with it. Then you guys will know how it feels. And yeah, again, I know that the, that the prosecutors were, after the fact, 
you know, we're like, oh, well, these photos are real. But like I said, too little, too late. So, yeah. You, um, again, all, all we can hope is that the same thing happens to their kids. And then they'll know what it's like. Because really, I don't think they gave a shit. I, don't, I really don't think they shook two shits out of it. Anyways, the next thing is something pretty damn tragic. Now, I was actually about to go to sleep. Now, most nights, you know, before I go to sleep, I'll, you know, read on my phone or something on Facebook because, you know, it helps me go to sleep. Sometimes I'm not tired and reading now will make me go to sleep. Um, and then one of my friends posted something. And it, when I saw it, it's like, no, no, this did not happen. This did not happen at all. Um, and no, it's not the Taiwanese plane crash, although I did see that in my heart go out to all the people who were involved with that, even if they survived, you know, and the ones who didn't, you know, deepest condolences to their families, even if they can't understand me. I, I, I hope, you know, that it's pretty, as painless as possible for them. But no, what happened was, so my friend posted something on Facebook, and it's like, no, no, because the subject that this was about, he's a friend of mine on Facebook, so I go to his Facebook page, and sure enough, Ray Petty, a.k.a. Ronch Fox, has passed away. He apparently had a very bad heart attack the other day. And, you know, I'll be honest, I didn't really tune into his show that much. I actually first knew about him through stick cam, but it doesn't matter. It's it, it, it sucks when one of your friends pass away, even if you don't know him in real life. It just fucking sucks. And I, it's happened to me before. Um, Earl Cress and John Medic, those are a couple of people that... I was friends with on Facebook, never really talked to them, and then they die. So, I'm telling my Facebook friends, when I message you, this is why I want you to fucking respond back. Because you or I could be dead the next day. You know, and it's, and then, you know, after you, someone passes away, even if they were, like, annoying, you're going to be like, wow, I wish I talked to them, you know, at least one last time. So... Again, if, if you're on my Facebook friends list and I, you know, if I want to talk to you, you know, I, please reply, you know, because it's because, you know, that's one reason. I just lost a fucking third friend on Facebook, you know, and not through them removing me, it's through them fucking dying. So, and of course, once someone dies, you know, that's it, you know. So all I said was, you know, rest in peace, Ronch Fox, and I'll see you upstairs. Um... So, I mean, it's really fucking painful, though. Even if, you know, I don't know him in real life, I just... You know, people are like, well, you're not showing much emotion. No, I'm not the... I'm the kind of guy who doesn't cry at a funeral and shit like that. It's not because I'm sick. It's just, you know, I... I don't know what it is. I, I, I really don't. But, anyways, rest in peace, man. Ray Petty. And I'll see you. I'll see you upstairs. I don't know when. Hopefully it's later than sooner, but... And if you guys don't see a video for me in like a year, then I think it's safe to assume I'm dead. <laughs> but that's another story. There, there's been YouTubers who have been gone away for like years and years, and then they come back like light years later, and they're like, oh yeah, I've just been busy. But no, I, I think I'd have time to make some videos here and there, even if I had a job or I was in college. But so again, recipe, story petty, you know, I just. This, this sucks, losing a friend, even if I don't know him in real life, it's, it still sucks. Um, I don't mean to change the subject to something not as important, I should talk about this first, but their Facebook screwed up the damn chat bar again, in case you didn't see. So now it just shows the pictures of your friends, and it, you know, there's a green light next to it if, it's, if they're online. Now, when you click, when you're, you hover your mouse over the friends list, then the thing pops up to normal. What the fuck? You know, I don't know why I don't quit Facebook. Actually, I do know why. It's because there, I have friends on there that I want to get a hold of, and then, of course, Facebook is the only way they're on, you know, I can get a hold of them. So, that's one reason I'm on Facebook. So, anyway. I don't know. Just shit's going on in the world, people. Be prepared. I mean, Nintendo could fucking... I, I don't know what they... Uh, did Nintendo ever, like, really, like, outlaw the emulators of them? I don't think they did. But, um... I, I, I hope at least Nintendo got my message. You know? I don't want to be paying fucking $500 for Zombie Nation. Just, you know... 
just because you guys don't want me to play it on emulators. And you know, another thing I forgot to bring up on that video is that maybe I did mention it, but I don't remember mentioning it. Is that I've spent a fucking good deal. I've invested a lot of my money in Nintendo's products. You see how many Famicom games and NES games and Super Nintendo games and all that stuff? You know how many Nintendo sh things I own? I've probably spent over a thousand fucking dollars. So, you know, if Nintendo wants to show me some respect, I would expect them to at least let me fucking play the games I own at least on a fucking emulator. So, anyways, sermon over. And again, rest in peace, Ray. You'll be missed. I'll see you. So, peace out.